Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve the problem easy task. So given a string S whose length is N and array queries of length Q where each element of query is either of type 1 query or type 2 query which is explained ahead. So there are two types of query. So query type 1 is 1 comma index comma char. 1 denotes this is type query when that is in this query you have to change the character at index IND into S. It's like basics whenever we are getting the first index as one. Well. That means this is a one type query. And what we have to do, whatever character is at ith index, that is, you can say ith index will be changed to character. Okay. What is the second query? Second query is, uh, it is represented by the first index of that vector will be represented by two. Okay. And after that, they have said left comma right comma k. That means uh, we have to take the range left comma right and just we have to sort in descending order and take the second that is kth character from the argument. So if you didn't understand it, let's understand on the whiteboard. Okay. So we are given query one. So query one is one comma index comma character. That means whatever is at index change is to character. Okay. Query to represent two that is represented by two. Okay. Left comma right comma k that is take left to right index and find the kth lexicographically largest element okay so this is the question so let's understand with an example test case we are given a b a b that is n is equals to 4 and q is equals to 2 so the first query says there are two types of query first query says 1 is query so i will go to this and i will say this is index comma cat that means a b a b 0 1 2 3 they are saying at 2th index okay change this to d so what i will do i will just what i will do like i will make this thing. then now I come to second query. Second query is represented by 2. Okay, done. Now I will say 1, 2, 3. That means from this index to this index. What we have to do? We have to find the first largest element lexicographically. Okay. So what we have to do? Just take this first. D, D, B. Sort this in descending order. D, B, B. Now, what is the first element in lexicographically sorted order? D. So answer will be equal to D. So uh, we, let me verify this. Uh, yes, this is Z. So we have to return this Z. Okay. So obviously we are setting this so nothing will be returned. So answer will be returned for only two queries which are represented by two because we are getting something from that. Okay. So how to approach this question? So brute force way. Let's understand a brute force way. Whatever I said in while explaining these test cases, while explaining these test cases is the brute force way. How to apply? Let's see. Let's see. Let's say I have this test case. Okay. Now I will say at 1th index, uh, like this is first type query, okay, and at fifth index change to C. That means that means at fifth index we have C, D just change to C. Then then so first query is N. Now second query is two one four three. So I will say this is second query represent me okay one two four. Take this index one two four and sort this in descending order. It will be C B B A. If I sort this in descending order, obviously C B B A. Obviously it can be done sort str dot begin plus whatever is index one comma str dot begin you know greater int like we can take the range so this is simple okay so now uh, uh we can take cbbm and we want to find third largest element first largest c second largest b third largest b so i will say answer will be equal to b so i will return b similarly if i have second to have another query so i will push this in vector let's say it comes c so i have to return this vector only so this is the question now you understood the brute force way. Tell me the time complexity brute force way. What we are doing? We are going for every query. And for every query, what I am doing, I am taking, let's say, two comes. When two comes, when two comes, uh, we have to traverse. We don't have to actually traverse. We have to sort this array. So it will take bigger of, let's say, left to range, right. Range at worst case is 0 to 5 every time. So n log n. So it will be q into n log n. So obviously it will give time limit exceeded by because obviously Q is 10 to the power 5. So if I take Q is 10 to the power 5 and it will be 5 into 10 to the power 4 into log into 5. Obviously it will exceed you. You can see just from here. You don't need to check up on here. Like this is exceeding obviously. So how to approach this? How can we uh, optimize this? So another optimization is just the hint. Like what is the hint they have given? What hint is given? Like we can see they have written lowercase letter and only taking. Uh, 
I think yeah, yes. S and care contains lower case English letters. So this is the end. So so let's see. Let's see how I approach this. So what I will do, I will say uh first query, okay then. And a two-th index make this V. So I will say a two-th index make this V. So just rub it and make this V. So it was V, just make this V as as it is. Now I come to this query. Now I will say this is two-th query. Okay. Now I will say it is one to four. So go from one to four. Okay. Now what is the optimized approach says? Optimize the approach says we know we can have only character from A to Z. We know that. So I can represent A as 0, B as 1, C as 2, D as 3. This is a very common technique. Many of you know this. Many of you know this. E4, F5, until Z25, you know. So this is a very common technique. Like I will store the frequency of 26 characters. Okay. That is, I know A to Z are 26. So I will say 0 to 25 will be mapped for A, B, C, D, just like this. So as to uh, don't make the map, we can use an order map as well here. Let's make this frequency 26 as well. Doesn't matter, obviously. Okay. So now what I will say from B to B, just traverse, just traverse. So B's frequency will be one. I come here, B's frequency will be two. I come here, B's frequency will be three. I will come here, C frequency will become one. So B is three and C is one. Okay, done. Now, now what I will do. So I have zero to 25 character. So I have a frequency array. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and let's say till 25 character. So obviously all of them is 0. Except B. B will be represented by 1. C will be represented by 2. A will be represented by 0. So this will be 0. This will be 3. Because 1's frequency is 3. And 2's frequency is 1. This is 0. So what I will do, I will start from the back. Sum. Sum, sum, sum. So till the year sum is 0. I want the third character. So I will say when I come here, count will become 1. It was initially 0, it will become 1. Now, when I come here, count will become 4. Now, I can see count will become 4. That means, that means if I am here, it was C. Now, when I count become 4, that means we are taking 4, 3 Bs here. Okay. Now, I want third character. So, after first, after first, let's say C is first in descending order. When I come here, so third character will be in between. Because count is 4 and I want K is equals to 3. So, obviously, when count will become greater than or equal to K, that means I found the character, let's say uh, k is equals to 4. So b will be here. So answer will be this b. If k, k is 3, answer will be this b. If k is 2, answer will be this b. So what I have to do, I have to uh, traverse. And at every position, it actually take 25 iterations. Okay. So obviously it's big of n, you can say. Okay. So what I have to do, I have to count plus plus. And I have to check whenever, whenever count will become greater than is equals to k. Because at b, count will become greater than is equals to k. That means, that means one represents D. D is a character which is the answer. Okay. Similarly for this. Similarly, we do for this and push this in vector. Let's see, come. So I will push this vector and I have to return this. So this is simple approach. So what is the time complexity of this approach? So time complexity of this approach will be, we are going for every query and for every query, we are driving for big of n. And after big of n, I will try big of 26. So obviously, big of n not considered. So actually, it's Q into n. Now you will ask, you will ask that in the time complexity section, it is giving Q into log n. How can we do this? So this is only possible by segment tree, which requires the deep knowledge of segment tree. That's why, that's why uh, walking up with this solution will work. So just go with this solution. This is also fine. Okay. So let's try to code up the approach with this without segment tree. Okay. So now, First thing that we have to do, just simple, vector care answer. We are going to store the vector. And at the end, I will return the answer. Okay. Now, within this, I will going to do the computations. Then, now, I will travel for every four and i is equals to zero. Uh, queries dot size, comma, i plus plus. Okay. Now, first, that is the query number. Uh, you can make it as query number. Query number. Query number. Query number is STOE. Queries of i of zero why i'm doing stoe stoe is a function which basically convert because we are given the elements in the form of strings so i have to convert this string this one string into one number so because actually it's a string you can consider this so i have to convert this into number so as to get it in the form of integer form so i will say convert into uh, we use stoe okay and obviously first index for both will determine that which type of query is this one eighth query or two eighth query so now I will say, I will say if query number, 
is equal to equal to one and l square number is equal to two obviously now now when this is the task if query number is equal to one that means we have to directly set the index in big o of one okay so what i will be going to do i will take the index so index is also in the form of string so first convert into integer so s c o e so index is represented by the second index of the vector so i will say queries of i of one then and after that i will say what is the character character is like this is a string let's say uh, let's see let's say this is string d b c e and i want to access the first character how can i access let's say this is string str okay i can access by str of 0 obviously first character of string similarly i will access here because this is string this is not a character that's why i will say queries of queries of i of 2 of 0 uh, let's don't confuse like you can understand like this this is queries of i of 2 that is d i got the string now after getting the string i will say access it 0th character okay now just we have to do whatever is string set an index to c okay now now if the query is a second type so obviously the first index will represent the left index so i will say uh, obviously s t o e i have to convert it queries of i of 1 and right is equal to s t o e queries of i of 2 okay now i will say k is equal to s t o e queries of i of 3 because this is this is left this is right this is k now now after that what i will say i will create a map of 26 okay let me show it again okay i will create a map of 26 and after mapping so because a represent this uh, a is a like i will subtract a let's say i have a let's say this is a i will subtract a this will become zero i will have b minus a but c minus a two so i will represent this by this okay and i will count the frequency of everyone and i will traverse in reverse direction by because i have to find the first greatest character first largest character second largest character third and we have to find the key as the largest character that's why i am traversing in descending order as in the brute force approach that i have done like this okay so what i will be going to store i will be going to store the frequency so basically it reduced my task okay now i will say for and i is equal to left i less than is equal to right i plus plus uh because i've used a variable left uh k less than is equal to right k plus plus okay this means this okay now after that i will say element what will be s of k minus a because if i have a i have to minus a. if i have b minus a it will be equal to zero it will be equal to one so this is very common technique and if you some someone if you know don't know so you will get it now okay now i will say frequency of element plus plus that means zero h one h plus plus i will do this random because string is random in descent it's not in descending order so after getting this i will say char ch get the answer character so i will say this solve function will give me answer character and when i get this just uh, don't think about this function currently the whatever character this function will give so i will put it in my answer vector and add then what i will going to do i will be going to return the answer as i already returned so now time to write the solve function char solve in frequency array and in k so what will be we are going to start from the 25 i greater than is equals to zero i minus minus and what i will going to do because i have count is equals to zero so let's say I have character like you can say like A, B, B, C, 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 D, D. So I will say, okay, start from D. So A's count is 1, B's count is 2, C's count is uh, 4, 4, D's count is 2. So what I will be going to say that I will start from the D, 2. Okay, then I let's say I want to find the, uh, you can say 7th character. Okay, let me find the 7th character. So I will say, okay, take this 2D. Okay, then, but they are less. Okay, that means we have not used the seventh character. Now come to C. Now I will come, I will uh, going back now. For Z, 0, 0, 0. I will come to D after that. 2, no. C, C, C. Uh, we have 4 C. Now I have total 6 characters. That means I have not reached yet seventh character. Now I have B, B. That means characters are exceeded. That means if I remove this B, that means within these Bs, the answer will be there. So that means the answer is Bs. So this is the approach now. Now I think you get it. Okay. So now... Uh, element uh, no count plus is equal to frequency of i i will start from the back and count and if at any moment count is greater than is equals to a k so return i plus a and add then because uh, obviously i will get the answer because they have given 
we are giving the in the left and right in n minus one only, and k is also right minus left plus one. So that means answer will always exist. So this one reference variable I am sending the star, rather it will it will never be the answer. So let's try to compile it in the code and check whether it's working fine. Okay, so let's submit the code. So yes, it's totally working fine. So this was all about code. If you like the explanation, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.